in this particular video we want to take some examples uh, explaining the solution of the linear congruence in my last videos i have explained what is a linear congruence any congruence of the type ax congruent to b modulo n is considered as a linear congruence and here we have the variable x with respect to power 1 so this is called linear congruence this has solution if and only if so let's me to write the statement of the result at least and for the proof you can see the previous video this has solution if and only if gcd of a and n divide b so whenever we say that the gcd of a and n divide this b this has a, a solution or we can say that this congruence is solvable and if i assume that this has d as a gcd then it also have d in congruent solution so this is the uh, result complete result this has in d in congruent solution now let's solve these uh, question and find the all the in congruent solution also and we also need to verify whether this is solvable or not so for the first problem solution we notice that this is solvable as the gcd of 9 and 15 which is uh, 3 this divide 6 so we can say that 3 divide 6 so this particular congruence is solvable once we know that this is solvable we start finding the solution and also we notice that there are some terms that we can take common out of this this is 3 into 3x this is congruent to 3 into 2 here i can write this is modulo 3 into 5 so 3 is appearing everywhere i can cancel this but cancellation uh, cannot be done direct we know notice that the result if ac is congruent to bc modulo n and if i want to cancel this c on both side then i should get rewrite this integer uh, uh, congress as a is congruent to b modulo n divided by the gcd of c and n so if i cancel this i need to reduce inside also so here it is 3x congruent to 2 modulo 5 now the solution of this and the solution of this are going to be the same let's see that here i want to find the solution for x and this we will try initially by the trial as this inside the modulo we have uh, integer 5 so this means the choices for x can be 0 1 2 3 4 any choice beyond this 5 suppose if i take x equal to 5 so 5 is definitely congruent to 0 if i take x equal to 6 6 is congruent to 1 so we do not see all we find least non-negative choices if you take x is equal to 0 let's see that 3 into 0 is congruent to 2 modulo 5 is it satisfied no this is not satisfied if x is equal to 1 we see that 3 is congruent to 3 into 1 is congruent to 2 modulo 5 this is also not satisfied if x is equal to 2 we'll have 3 into 2 which is 6 6 is congruent to 2 modulo 5 is true no this is also not true and then if i take x is equal to 3 so then we have 3 into 3 which is 9 9 is congruent to 2 modulo 5 this is also not true because 9 minus 2 is 7 if i consider x is equal to 4 so 3 into 4 which is 12 12 is congruent to 2 modulo 5 this is true so this is how we have to choose our first solution so we can say that x not equal to 4 is a solution of above this is a solution of let's keep this as star solution of star now as we got the first solution we can immediately find the other solution also and to find the other solution i want to recall you the diffantine equation the linear uh, congress is reducing uh, to diffantine equation so suppose we have this uh, linear congress ax congruent to b modulo n so this can be written it as a is equal to b plus n times y or i can write this as ax minus n y is equal to b so this is simply like a linear diffantine equation we did uh, this ax plus by equal to c is a linear diffantine equation and if you notice that if you have x naught y naught as an initial solution you can find the other solutions also x dash equal to y dash which is x naught plus b by d times t t is an integer and y naught minus a by d times t t is an integer so whether you write this solution or you write x dash and y dash here i can write x naught minus b by d times t 
here i can write y not plus a by d times t both are solution so here you write plus or minus it doesn't matter we can consider this negative and plus sign with this integer t since t belongs to integer and now noticing that x not equal to 4 is the solution of star so obviously this is the solution of our original problem which is 9x congruent to 6 modulo 16 so let me to write down x not equal to 4 this is the solution of 9x congruent to 6 modulo 15 and so now using the linear diffentine equation as well i can find the other solution which is so x dash this is equal to x not plus 15 by the gcd gcd was 3 into t now notice that 9 is appearing with this variable x and 15 is appearing with another variable y so we have to always lick this was b by d and a by d will go in the variable of the y but in our case we require only with respect to x t is an integer and of course we need to keep the value for t uh, which is less than or equal to the gcd so in the, our case we can take 0 1 2 in usual sense whenever we search here this t gives us the unique uh, solution incongruent solution whenever t takes the value 0 1 up till d minus 1 since gcd of 9 and 15 was 3 so we can take t 0 1 2 and now let's see x naught whenever t is a 0 x naught is same as 4 whenever t is equal to 1 we will have x naught which is a 4 plus 15 by 3 this is 5 into 1 so this value is 9 whenever t is 2 so this x naught will be 4 plus 5 into 2 so this is 10 plus 4 14 so we got these as a solution we have x e congruent to 4 9 14 modulo 15 these are the solution corresponding to our given problem 9x congruent to 6 modulo 15 and now let's look at the solution for the second congress we have 10x congruent to 15 modulo 45 and as we notice that 10 and 45 this has the gcd 5 and 5 divides 15 so this means this is solvable so we always need to see whether this is solvable or not and again by hit and trial you notice that uh, x naught this is equal to 6 will act as a solution and to find out this we must always reduce you can reduce this to 2x congruent to 3 modulo 9 cancel out the common term 5 and then we see that x naught equal to 6 is a solution for this because now the uh, moduli integer is reduced a lot and so this x naught equal to 6 is acting the solution of the original congress also that is 10x congruent to 15 modulo 45 now once we got one solution we just need to find other so for the other we have this as x naught plus 45 by their gcd gcd is 5 times t and we know what is the value for t t will vary from 0 1 up till the gcd uh, d minus 1 that is 4 so gcd is d or you can see that this is 0 1 up till d minus 1 and here we have calculated this as a gcd so if x naught whenever t is equal to 0 we get 6 whenever t is equal to 1 we get 15 this is 24 33 42 so these are five incongruent solutions modulo 45 to our given linear congruence now for the solution of the third problem we can use a little different technique once we notice that 183x this is congruent to 28 modulo uh, 28x times modulo 31 so this above congress i can reduce 183x this is congruent to 28x which is congruent to 15 because this is given to us so now i want to solve first this congress 28x is congruent to 15 modulo 31 so whatever be the solution we will get here in this reduced congress is the same solution corresponding to this congress and for this also i will be using the euclidean algorithm so here i will use now the euclidean algorithm concept although we could use the previous concept also but just to give you the variation for the euclidean algorithm once you know that this is going to apply onto integer 28x this is equal to 15 plus 31 into y so this is how we rewrite this congress into equation so we got 28 times x and 31 times y so that means we need to find the gcd of 28 and 31 so we notice that 31 is 1 into 28 plus 3 28 this is 9 into 3 plus 1 
3 is equal to 3 into 1 plus 0. So we notice that the GCD of 28 and 31, this is 1, they are relatively prime. And 1 divide this 15, so this above congruence is solvable. Now as this is solvable, I am now using the extended Euclidean algorithm. So use extended Euclidean algorithm to find the integers x and y which satisfy this equation or and then back we can look for the congruence. So for this extended Euclidean algorithm pick up the last non-negative remainder. So this is 1 which can be written as 28 minus 9 into 3. 28 minus 9 and then this 3 can be written it as 31 minus 1 into 28. So we got a uh, minus 9 into 31. And then we got this 9 into this minus 1. So it got plus 9 and then we got 1 here. So this is plus 10 times 28. So we have this uh, 28 into 10 minus 31 into 9 is equal to 1. But look at here what do we desire. We desire this equal to 15. Or I can see that this is 28x minus 31y equal to 15. So on the right hand side we desired a 15. So that means multiply on both side by 15. So when I multiply on both side by 15, we get 150 minus 31 into 135 equal to 15. So now we know what is x and what is y. So from here, we can see that 28 into 150 is congruent to 15 modulo 31. So I can directly write this one. You can notice that this is 28 times x. This particular one is appearing as a multiple of 31. So this goes inside the modulo and here we got 15. So which is here. So that means for uh, this particular x, this congress is true. x equal to 150. This is the solution modulo 31. And as we see that 150 larger than 31. So we can say that 150 this is further congruent to 26 modulo 31. So now this is small. And so 26 is the solution corresponding to our original problem. 183 times 26 is congruent to 15 modulo 31. This is solution.